what is an absolute value? An absolute value is the distance between two things. The distance between two things. And distance is a measurement, which means that it is always positive. For example, you may be three miles from school. Your face might be eight inches from your phone or tablet. These are all measurements, so they're positive. Another example where we can think about distance is your age. Let's say you're 12 years old. And your brother is 16. What is the distance between your ages? Well, you're 12 and your brother's 16. So if you just take 16 minus 12, you get four years. That is the difference. Your brother is four years older. Or you could say that you are four years younger. However, the order matters here. We did 16 minus 12. What if we took 12 minus 16? Then we get negative four. And that doesn't really make sense, does it? Negative four years? Years is a measurement, so it must be positive. You could say you're four years younger, but you can't say negative four years. So that is not what we want. And since you can subtract numbers in two different ways, we call this the positive difference. And when you get a negative number, we call it the negative difference. And what we see here is that the distance between two numbers is the positive difference. It's the positive subtraction. So that's going to be important to keep in mind as we get into our next example. The order matters when you're subtracting. So we've taken a look at our number line and we've spent a lot of time being a detective looking for x. So now we're going to change it up a little bit. We still have our number line, but now we're going to look at Alexis and Jenny. And we want to figure out what is the distance from Alexis to Jenny? Well, starting from Alexis, you can take three steps to get to the house and then another two to get to Jenny. So it takes five steps. The distance from Alexis to Jenny is five. So how can we represent this sentence, this distance with symbols? Well, we just said that the distance between two numbers is the positive difference. Well, Alexis is at negative 3, Jenny is at 2. We want to find the positive difference. So we take Alexis and we subtract Jenny's position. So we don't know for sure if Alexis minus Jenny, negative 3 minus 2, we don't know for sure if that's the positive difference. Right? Remember the order matters. Alexis minus Jenny and Jenny minus Alexis are two different numbers. They're opposites. One is positive, one is negative. So that's where we introduce our absolute value symbol. And you can also think of it as a distance symbol. 
And what it says is subtract in whichever order you want. But give me the positive difference. Because I want distance. So that's what the absolute value symbol here is saying. Whatever's on the inside, you can subtract however you want, but just give me the positive version at the end because I want distance. And if you look at our green sentence here, I can actually color code this to match our symbols here. So our distance is in blue, our absolute value symbol. From Alexis, is in pink. We have our subtraction sign in green. Jenny's here in purple. And we have one more piece to add here is five. The distance from Alexis to Jenny is five. All right. So let's replace Alexis and Jenny with their numbers. Remember, Alexis is at negative 3, Jenny is at 2. So we'll have the distance from negative 3 to 2. And our absolute value symbol is saying, OK, take negative 3 minus 2. And whatever that is, I just want the positive version of it. I want the positive difference. So let's do that subtraction that's inside. So we'll get negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. So our absolute value is looking in there. It's saying you have the negative difference. You subtracted them such that you got a negative number. But I wanted the positive. So you have negative 5. I want positive 5. So that is the answer. That is the distance from Alexis to Jenny. Now, what if you had it the other way around? What if you subtracted Jenny minus Alexis? So let's take a look right here. Let's say we had 2 minus negative 3. Instead of negative 3 minus 2, we're saying the distance from Jenny to Alexis and our absolute value is saying, all right, do that subtraction inside, but I want a positive number. So we get 2 minus negative 3, which is the same as 2 plus 3. That leads to 5 on the inside. And our absolute value symbol is happy. It said, OK, you subtracted. And there's the positive version, so we're good. So the absolute value symbol is just there to remind us that in the end, we need a positive number because we want distance. All right, let's try one more example. So we're going to take a look at Alexis and Jenny again, but we're going to take a look at that house in the middle. So we want to see what is the distance from Alexis to the house. Well, Alexis just needs to walk three steps to get to the house. So we say the distance from Alexis to our house is 3. All right. So using symbols, we have the distance from Alexis to our house is 3. And we see that Alexis is at negative 3, and our house is at 0. 
All right, so we have the distance from negative 3 to 0. Well, our absolute value is saying, okay, do that subtraction, but in the end, I want a positive number. I want the positive difference. So negative 3 minus 0 is just negative 3. Now our absolute value symbol is looking in there, and it's saying, well, you got the negative difference, so I want the positive. And so our final answer would be 3. And that is our orange 3. So just a couple quick notes. You might see a problem that looks like this, that has negative 3 inside of the absolute value. It's implied that it's actually negative 3 minus 0. So the absolute value is there to represent distance, and to have distance you need two things. So that's why we have negative 3 minus 0. But oftentimes they'll just leave that minus 0 out of it. Uh, so I just want you to keep that in mind, that minus 0 is always in there, it's implied. Another important note is our phrasing up here. We said that the distance from Alexis to the house is 3, where Alexis is at negative 3, and our house is at 0. Oftentimes the fancy math folks will say it a little differently. They'll say that the absolute value of negative 3 minus 0 is 3. So that is an equivalent way to say it. However, I think that this is not particularly useful. And why is that? Well, you could say that without understanding what it means. The absolute value of negative 3 minus 0 is 3. You could easily say that without knowing what that means. However, our second phrasing, when we're talking about distance, the distance from negative 3 to 0 is 3. That, I think, is useful because it demonstrates understanding. You understand what these symbols mean. And if you get a problem that looks a little different than what you've seen before, your understanding will allow you to think critically and solve a different type of problem. And that's useful. It's useful to expand your mind to tackle different types of challenges. So when you're doing these problems, either way of phrasing it works. You could use the fancy math folks way or the colorful way below that. However, I just want you to keep in mind when you're doing math or in any other topic, ask yourself, are you just saying words or do you understand what you're saying? Do you know essentially what you're talking about? Simply asking that question will go a long way in helping you become a more critical thinker. So I hope you've enjoyed the pretty colors in this video and I'll see you in the next one.